Hey there, in this Cubase plugin feature video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the stereo delay plugin. A delay plugin will repeat audio over and over again, creating ambience. Let's have a listen to a track without delay on the lead vocals. And now a track with delay. The cool thing about a stereo delay is we can create a delay on the left side and the right side of the plugin, adding even more atmosphere so it gives more of a stereo effect. The cool thing about delays is we get to choose when the audio is actually delayed, and we can do that by freestyling it or syncing it with the quantize setting. You can choose a different delay setting for both left and right. A, thing that we could both take home. a faster delay time, you like 1 16th for example, will mean that the audio me. is repeated at a faster rate, then giving us more of a slapback kind of vibe. Then you need it to be a lower setting will be more prominent because you can actually hear the vocals being repeated. So you can hear that delay bouncing around in between the left and the right ear, and we can choose exactly how big that stereo width is using these two parameters. Because delays are repeating an important part, you have to be really careful they don't cut over the main part. So we can use low and high filters on the left and right side to really specify where that delay is going to impact us on a frequency spectrum. The other really important thing is the feedback. So the feedback is how many times it's actually going to be repeated. A higher feedback will result in the audio being repeated more times, giving it a longer delay. Delays aren't just used for vocals when it comes to audio production. Guitarists love them, and you'll almost always hear a delay over a guitar solo. The police even use them over the top of hi-hats. It's about being creative, and a stereo delay gives you the ability to be double or twice as creative. If you're just starting out in the world of stereo delays, I can highly recommend going through the preset list. There's some killer presets in there, and look, my hot tip is the sweet vocal delay. I've used this on hundreds and hundreds of vocals. In the middle of a bad dream. It's super light, fluffy, and it's got a perfect ambience for almost every lead vocal. But there's so many different types of sounds you can get out of this one plugin. So once again, go through the preset list and just try it over the top of a number of different instruments. Because a delay is repeating a source, it can sometimes get in the road of the source audio. So you can use automation to kick the delay in and then take it back out again. Automation will mean that your delay has maximum impact when it's in. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you there.